Alright, so boom. I haven't done a video game commentary in a very long time, but doing all these MMA compilations and utilizing clips from Blitz the League, it's only right that I talk about this ridiculous game. If you ever wanted to experience what football in the state penitentiary is, this game is for you. I forgot Miles Garrett was in this game. Imagine having to deal with this. Finish him! Homie out here bare fist in helmets. What kind of infinity power stone you got on the sideline? Why tackle routinely when you can key in on somebody's body part? Why you gotta focus on the man's tailbone? That's kinda suspect. But you broke his ribs anyway. Are you disappointed he didn't snap his buttocks? He's leaving the game with broken ribs, but you really wanted to tear him a new asshole. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I know I'm not wildin'. This man's ribs just cracked. Ah! Homie is in desperate need of going to the hospital. How the fuck is he only out for two plays? This man lungs unprotected and he gonna be gone for a drink of water? What? Wahoo. You could catch picks on defense and give offensive players concussions for simply trying to tackle you. Feel my stiff arm, pussy. Get your ass off the field. It hurts. It hurts so much. You thought going deep was a good idea? AJ Styles, phenomenal forearm. Good night. It's my turn. Motherfuckers having turns on the field showcasing the phenomenal forearm. To make matters worse, look at the size of him! He's fat! He's a monster! Man's got a skull fracture and an impending death sentence, but he's only out for six games. Nobody outside these coaches is on a knee. Where is the morality? Here I go! Here comes the tag team. Die! Look at his right arm. They over here talking about shoulder stinger. That looks more like a dislocation. But it's only three plays. Give him a shot of Robitussin. This was one of those games that you had to be incredibly strategic. But understand that you will not have the same starting lineup by the time the fourth quarter rolls around. What happened? My back. Oh, my back. I haven't played this in 10 years. But I can't even remember if there are flags called. This is a clear horse collar. But a routine fumble in this game. Just the mere idea of trying to make a play for your teammates would result in disastrous proportions. Man's leaving the game with a retired porn star injury. His neck. Are you struggling to make a tackle? Fuck the tackle! Hiya! Ah! How you tiger knee your opponent? The sheer savagery out here was astounding. I don't, don't do this! Please, don't do this! The goal was never to win. The goal was to injure and inflict pain. Gotta appreciate the consistency. Show the stinger appears to be three plays across the board. But what I loved most is how you can defy gravity. You already diving towards the floor. How you elevate upwards to rupture this man's spleen. Ah! Why is he being carried off the field? Chopper this man out of the stadium. Do you realize you could two-hand choke slam somebody? You will rest in peace. Now that I think about it, maybe that's what Aaron Donald was practicing for. When you pick up the controller, just be 100% prepared to get murked. Why would you spin into a tackle? Die! Hiya! No! <laughs> this gotta be what Ernie Davis had to endure when he was playing at Syracuse. Watch out for that banana back there! I'm surprised you can't use a foreign object in this game. There was carnage all over the field. All these neck sprains gonna make it tough to swallow food. You won't even be able to eat your Hello Fresh. And now a word from our sponsors. Wait a minute. Why waste all your money buying food when you can make your own with Hello Fresh? And this meal is gonna be so much better than what I could have bought at a fast food restaurant. Hello Fresh will help you maintain your goals and take control of your food choices. They've got over 50 weekly menus and market items to choose from so you can think less about what's for dinner and more about achieving your goals. With their fit and wholesome recipes, you can indulge in delicious meals without the worries. And their food comes with pre-portioned ingredients that help limit mealtime 
prep and cut back on trips to the grocery store. And recipes range from family friendly to fit and wholesome to pescatarian, even to veggie options every single week. Plus every recipe is fresh produce sourced directly from farms. And you can increase your HelloFresh box servings at any point so you can easily use the leftovers for lunches. Even at its full price, its pre-portioned ingredients mean that you don't gotta waste money on excess food. It's no wonder HelloFresh has more five-star reviews than any other meal kit, so you know you're getting something good. Just look at this meal. As Dora the Explorer would say, it's delicioso. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in my description and go to HelloFresh.com and use code CHISELED16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Let them know I sent you. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Where do you think you're going? Come back here, you little son of a bitch! Oh my god! My leg! Whoa. My leg! In what world does an ankle sprain look like that? That's a broken foot! Just when you thought shit was sweet to be a backup quarterback holding kicks. Now you see now, you know fucked up, you know that, don't you? Just when you thought you was getting an easy check, look at that man's face. Look at his face! Recovering fumbles, incentives in your contract, running over a motherfucker, priceless. <laughs> Man's got flipped and leaving with a broken forearm, but it's not a problem, it's only three plays. Just imagine this happened to you. The embarrassment alone would have kept me on the sideline for a quarter. Three plays? My sweat hasn't even dried on the turf. My assailant is in the opposing huddle. At least give me some time to process what just happened. Here we go. Wait a minute, why is he aiming for his dick? Suplex City, bitch! My only weakness, my balls, how did you know? Gave that brother's balls a rough ride like this was police brutality. Him and his wife were aiming for baby number two. Now he's got a ruptured scrotum. This game was out of line. Good night. Oh heavens, he's got the Michael Strahan fingers. Watch my hand! kind of evil person you gotta be to purposely aim for somebody's foot? <laughs> How the fuck you break your foot but you only out for two plays? What kind of Donovan McNabb Academy doctors they got on the sideline? This dude looked like he snapped his ankle in half. It only accounted for a severe ankle sprain. They didn't even specify how long he was gonna be out. But a broken foot is only two plays? You could barely tape somebody up in a two play radius. Now I need to repair a broken foot and send somebody back out? You niggas are crazy! Imagine playing a game where face mask is legal. He made that man stare at his his own butt cheeks. Stop diving for legs. Why is he aiming for the knee? He's gonna give him the Derrick Rose special. Oh, oh no! They done fractured this man's kneecaps. If this was an episode of Hard Knocks, Dan Campbell would have probably ate him. If any of these were legal today, Roger Goodell would become a billionaire off of fines alone. If this was at the college level, everybody's getting a targeting call. You might as well had categorized them as gladiators in the Coliseum. It's the most electrifying move in sports entertainment today. Oh, the people's elbow! An exclamation point! The people's elbow! Suplex City, bitch! A German suplex throw! When Vince McMahon first founded the XFL, this is exactly what I had in mind. See, that's the correct animation for this diagnosis. It should have never had a shoulder sprain before. No, Sean, he didn't go! Ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no fucking way. Shades of Antonio Brown's punt return. This is completely unnecessary. When would you have to boot somebody in the face? Just crack this man's skull for shits and giggles, and the crowd gonna celebrate because they enjoy the brutality. Imagine getting a free rush on the quarterback only to have him stiff arm you away and you broke your foot. How do you face your teammates after that? Let's just say hypothetically one of these teams had a scrimmage against an NFL team. I would have that game circled on the schedule to have an illness that would prevent me from participating because I'm not about to die 
for somebody's entertainment. Broken feet, separated shoulders, dislocated kneecaps, ruptured spleens, and scrotums. At what point should my testicles ever feel any harm during these games? AJ Styles, phenomenal form! Bill Romanowski, Vontez Burfick, George Atkinson, Jack Tatum, they would love to play in a league like this. Homie out here tackling head first, gave his opponent's noggin a flogging with his own noggin. Get over here! I wish I was in the room when they brainstormed the concept for this game. Because there's no way there wasn't one person who pondered maybe this might not be the best direction for children to play. You can't tell me there wasn't a freshman who playing football for the first time thinking you could choke slam your opponent and the referee won't do anything. You pinched the nerve? Ah, oh, it's no problem. Wipe that shit off. During a football game, does this ever happen? Snap that boy collarbone into a Slim Jim. They had a D lineman taking flight on your back. This fat son of a bitch, he's fat. Look at the size of him. I might never look at the D line again. I fractured my fingers because this fat son of a bitch. You know what? I'm about to say it. I don't care that you broke your elbow. that man around like a used condom get your ass laid out and they celebrate your downfall in the end zone i don't know what it was about this red white and blue team but in the spirit of america they were out there wilding introducing democracy to teams like they were in the middle east my leg what am i gonna do about my leg Every single person they played against was getting punched in the face, broken limbs, suplexed left and right. The only weakness, my balls, how did you know? The team was filled with absolute menaces. Look at Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch, like out, watch, out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Did he just bulldog that motherfucker? Get your bitch ass off me. That's right, green team. Somebody need to stand up to these motherfuckers. I guess not. Where do you think you're going? Get over here. <laughs> Did he just attack him after the fact? What is this America-inspired team doing? Suplex City, bitch. Oh my lord, they just tag team this man. That's enough. God, that's enough. Stop it. He got hit with a finishing move, diagnosed with a sprained neck, and he's only gone for five plays. At this rate, the red, white, and blue team ain't gonna stop until somebody's dead. Finish him. God, 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 God. That's it, he's dead. Somebody stop the damn man. Enough's enough. the hell do you high knee somebody in a football game broke that man's neck for fun he's fucked up he got high need from the east to the west back to the east back to the west his neck finished career done he gonna need a medic somebody please go to goddamn emt <laughs> Tell me you watched the entire video, but you haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button and become a member on Patreon or on YouTube to get access to the Discord. We're waiting for you in the Shadow Realm. Do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Please! Please! What are you waiting for, huh? Oh my god.